Young saints are a great joy to the church. I am sure everyone will be happy to know about Saint Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows. Since his family was well off, he was a capricious society boy. He was called the Dancer because he knew ballroom dancing so well and a dandy for he was so particular with his appearance and his clothes. He attended parties and gatherings. Many young girls vied for his attention and he dated many of them. In personality, he was friendly, kind, generous, but impulsive. St. Gabriel was born Francesco Possenti on March 1, 1838 in Assisi, Italy. He was baptized at the font where St. Francis of Assisi was earlier baptized. His mother died when he was four, but his father, a talented lawyer, brought up his 13 children as devout Christians. The family was devoted to Our Lady of Sorrows. Francis studied at the School of the Christian Brothers, then later with the Jesuits. Francis attended daily Mass, and soon the vocation to a religious life blossomed in his heart. But he did not pay attention to it. We believe that God's ways are not our ways, and so it happened to Francis. Francis got seriously ill, which brought him to death's door. He prayed and asked Our Lady's intercession, promising that if he recovered, he will become a religious. He got cured, but he immediately forget his promise. Then he became ill a second time, prayed again, and renewed his previous promise. But he postponed the fulfillment of this promise. In May 1855, a cholera broke out in Spoleto and the picture of Our Lady was carried in procession. Francis was present. As he raised his eyes to see Our Lady's picture, the eyes of Mary cast a glance at him and he heard a voice saying, What are you doing in the world? Hasten to become a religious. Francis was moved and burst into tears. On September 10, 1856, at 18 years old, he entered the Passionists and took the name Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows. After four years as a model religious, he got sick of tuberculosis and died while embracing the picture of Our Lady of Sorrows. Saint Gabriel was canonized in 1920. He is patron saint for seminarians, students, and the youth. St. Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows was friendly, kind, and generous to others. St. Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows, you broke your own will in order to follow God's holy will. Help us to be constant in discerning God's will and follow it, come what may.